Hi, this is Magna, and welcome back to my modding tutorial series for Rome 2 Total War. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to uh, back up your work that you've done in the assembly kit. Uh, more specifically, I'll be focused on start pause changes and backing them up. Um, backing up the other, other database changes is kind of just a part of that. So let's get straight into it. You open up your assembly kit, <clears throat> the tweak here. Opens up like that, and we go to Dave. And then we want to go to tool. Uh, sorry, not tools. We want to go to view. We go to table launcher. And we're going to just set up a basic uh, unit, which I've already done, just to show you. It's in main units. Here it is. Go down at the bottom, and there is the unit I've created called tutorial unit. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, we can go and put that into uh, the start pause, and we'll back it up, and then we'll reload it. So let's put into the start pause this method: form launcher starting positions. Ooh, I've forgotten one thing. I have to give that to a. Uh, Action. So let's quickly military groupings, unit to military groupings. I'll add a record. We're going to give it to the Roman grouping. There's the tutorial unit. Great. Okay. Now we can go in here and we can choose the main campaign. Um, and we can go to, let's just change one of these units here in character number one. We'll change one of the, the bottom, this AET cav, we can change that to tutorial unit. Okay, that's done. See, it's already been changed here. Alright, so we've made the change to our start pause. And now we want to back it up. So the first thing we do to back it up, I'm going to do it in, a, in my tutorial folder here. I'm going to create uh, a, a spreadsheet. So you can either use Excel or you can use a uh, free spreadsheet, open office. Let's call it uh, start pause backup. Okay. Now we can open that. Open Office. Oh, I haven't set this up. Let me uh, set this up. Okay, now I've got it set up. Uh, I usually use Excel, but for the tutorials, I, I try to use programs which are free um, so that every, anyone can do it. So let's go first into the table launcher. And what we want to back up first, let's call this, we're going to back up those tables that we've just changed to add the unit. Because the start pause will read, you can only add to the start pause what, what is in the DB, ta the other database tables. Um, if we haven't updated those tables after we redo the start uh, the uh, assembly here once it's updated um, then we won't be able to read them into the start pause and yeah we'll have, we'll have to won't be able to update our start pause with those changes so let's go to military unit to military groups groupings to military permissions so this is one we changed and we'll just control a to select everything uh, then I'll just control C to copy it and I'll paste it in here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so now you can see that this looks like that. And we'll rename the sheet so we know what it is. We'll call it uh, Unit 2 Military Permissions. 
I don't want to write the whole thing out, but you can name it as you like, just so you know uh, which database table it, this tab relates to. The other one we have to do is uh, main units. So I'll name this main units. And I'll do the same thing with main units table. Now I'm, I'm, I'm copying the entire table here because you may have made changes uh, to vanilla units as well. Um, so you, if you want to save those, you'll have to copy the whole table. What you could alternatively do is just save the additional rows you've added. So I could, I could just save this row and add it uh, later to the main units table. But because you may have added um, changes in the rest of it, we want to keep those changes as well. So you can either click there or Control A, and then I'll just go in here and Control V, and same as before. Okay, you can see it looking just like the main units table. You don't need to know what the column headers are and all that, because you're just going to be using it for copy and paste. Okay, so we've backed that up now with those two tables. Now we want to back up the start pos tables. So the good thing about assembly kit is that the start pos is actually broken down into start pos tables. And we can actually just back all of those up. Uh, if we want to have a, if we want to know which tables specifically what we want to back up, uh, if we don't want to do all of them, I mean you can do all of them, but if we want to have specific ones only, just to cut down on time uh, for updating. We can just look here what table uh, it is added to when we when we put it into the start pause. So changing a unit like we did is done in start pause land units. If we change income, oh, we can do that right now as well. Uh, form launcher. change the starting in treasury to a thousand for Rome okay you can see that the table here is start pause factions so we'll, we'll save both of those changes and we will rename the sheets here to match these start pause tables so this one start pause land units okay we'll add another insert sheet Okay. Call this one start pause factions. Okay. So let's open up those two tables. Again, we'll copy the whole thing like that. Control C. So this is land units first up. And we'll paste it again. And then we'll grab the start pause. What is it? factions. You can see I've done some other changes here in other tutorials. Don't have to worry about those, but we'll copy them anyway. Factions, and I'll paste that in there. Okay, now I'm going to quit out of assembly kit. I'm going to uh, verify the cache, so it'll delete all the changes uh, that I've made. Um, and it'll, it'll be like downloading uh, the new version of assembly kit and with everything being lost. So I'll just pause it while I do that and then we'll get back into it. Actually just so you, you know, in case you needed to know, to uh, verify the integrity of the game cache, you come into um, library tools, go down to assembly kit, right click, properties, then you go to local files, verify integrity of game cache. Oh that's done. Okay, so it's downloading those six new files which I think it's already done and we're good to go back in okay so I've lo loaded it up again and we'll just check that those changes have not been saved so starting positions and we'll just check out the Roman income which is now 
4,000, not 1,000 anymore. That confirms that our changes are no longer there. And we will go back in and put it all back without going through this form launcher as we did before. Because if you're going to do lots of changes to the start pause, it could take you hours to manually do it. Doing it this way will take you much less time. So first things we do is we go into the tables which we already changed, the other DB tables, not the start pause ones. Uh, and you have to do these in order because they rely on each other. So the first one will be main units has to be done first. So scroll down to main units. You want to check that the number of rows you have, if you're going to be pasting it in, matches the number of rows that are currently in uh, the table. So if we go down, it starts from zero. If we go down, we see there's 967, but it starts from zero, so that's actually 968 rows. And we compare that with what we've saved, which starts from one, and goes down to 969. So there's one extra row we have to add before we can just paste it. So we can just add that. Now we have 168 rows, uh, plus one, 169, and likewise here. Now let's copy all this data. Okay, I'm doing this just to check that I get the right number of um, I select the right number of columns to paste in there. And the last column here is got something in it. That. So I know that's the last column. Sometimes it might be an empty column at the end, uh, which means instead of going to the last column with something in it, you, you just go to the last column, which is empty. Just making sure. Okay, so now I'll just select everything from there. Control C or right click and copy. And then I'll select everything here as well, and I will. Just paste Control V. What's it say? Tutorial unit, just like before. Then I'll apply the changes. Yep. Tutorial unit has been added to main units. Great. Then we'll do the same thing for unit to military permissions. Uh, unit groupings to military permissions is the table. And again, just make sure you get the right number of columns and check the number of uh, rows. So 1939, here we've got 1937 plus the zero, because they all start at zero. Makes 1938, so we need another row. Let's add it. Now we've got 1938 plus one, 1939. And we'll copy, we can go Control Shift and push up the up key to get up there quick. And control C. Select all that, control V, there's your tutorial unit. And we again we apply the changes. Here it is there now. Okay, so now we've backed up all the database. We've we've put back all the database changes we made. Um but we only need to put the database changes that we made uh that will be needed in the start pause. So if we've changed things to how much I mean uh, to, to land units, for instance, the land units table, it's not necessary to um, change the land units table uh, specifically, as long as we have the name of the unit we want in the main units. So we don't have to do land units. We don't have to do uh, what kind of weapons they have. We don't have to redo all that kind of stuff. We only need to do redo those tables. Um, which are required, minimum the minimum number of tables required to get the change we want in the start pause and to be recognized. So for creating this unit, all we need is these two tables. Even though the unit may have a new land units table and it may have um, you know, special weapons or special uh, new armor sets or whatever, we don't really need to do that because we can, we can save all that uh, in, with PFM and work with that in PFM, which is much easier to update as I've shown in a previous episode. Okay, so now let's go to the start pause tables and we just do the same thing again there. We go start pause land units for this. Uh, start pause land units. 
exactly the same as before. Last column is a 100 in it. There we go. And we've got 1091, and I mean, we already know that this is going to be one extra. 1089 plus 0, 190. So we're going to need another row. Now we can just select this, Control Shift, and then push up. Key, Control C to copy. Select the whole thing by clicking here, Control V. What's this? This is another change that I made. Tutorial unit. Should be there. I don't see the problem. The problem was for a uh, another change I made in the start pulse, not that one specifically. Yeah, so you got to be careful with that. If you've made changes which you haven't um, you haven't updated those changes in the other tables, then you'll get a pop-up like that. But uh, I think this is the right character. We'll find out soon enough. Um, yeah, so just you have to make sure that you've backed up all the necessary changes um, in the database tables before you start going into the start pods to back them up. Yeah, so we'll just apply that and do the same thing with factions Factions. again here you can see there's a number of other changes that have been made so I'm not sure <laughs> if they're all backed up but we will find out soon enough so if we go down we can see 240 here we have 241 uh, plus the 0, 241, so we've got the right number. And the last column is okay, it's got stuff in it, good. So we can go to Control Shift and push the left arrow key and okay, just keep holding it down till you get to end. Then we can go to Control Shift and push the up arrow key, Control C, select the whole thing here, paste it, apply. Right, and now we can um, check that our changes have taken effect. So we'll go into Form Launcher, Start Positions, There's the 1,000 starting treasury, and there's the tutorial unit set up there. And that's all there is to backing up your assembly kit changes. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.